Game number two between El Nino and Chessopolis, starting now, live on Boyd TV. <laughs> and I told you again. I wonder if they'll save or not. Spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as set. His name is Chessophilus. In the top of the map in the red color, playing as set as well. It's El Nino. Game, the map is Anatolia. It's currently a one to zero. Uh, one to zero for Chessophilus here. He took the first game on Anatolia. Completely dismantling El Nino's uh, set. We'll see if the build order remains the same. Not sending the Pharaoh over. Both players not sending the Pharaoh over. Seems to be a standard thing here for the set players to not move their Pharaoh over to, to empower this location here. I feel like I need to do some more testing to see which one is actually better. Um, but yeah, I assume we're going to see a fairly similar early game. Uh, except potentially El Nino not going to grab that, that Ford Town Center. I feel like he was really punished for it super hard. Um, yeah, maybe grabbing a back town center instead might be a better choice. Uh, and then potentially chasing the Mythic Age of Chessophilus if he doesn't go for his own Mythic Age. Could both be good options. Village is going to be chopping down Dem trees and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, we got Peft Dwabstet. Peft, I can't even say it. Peft Dwabstet. Is that an actual fair name? Or do they just put like random words together? Is any, like, do, if uh, if Ippert's still in the thing, does, are oh, they both, okay, so it is a bug. It is an observer bug. Both the pharaohs are always the same if they're both uh, the same race. Maybe if they're a different race, they're different pharaohs, pharaoh names. Or maybe they also see different pharaoh names. Not sure. Got that second dock coming up here for El Nino. Second dock looks like it's coming up soon for Chessophilus. Maybe a villager late? One villager late, it looks like. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? Wait. Oh. Looks like Chessophilus is fairly consistently producing fishing ships from one dock. So he doesn't need that second dock up for a little bit later here. We've also got maybe one fishing ship out just a little bit faster here from Chesso. So Chesso squeezes out an extra fishing ship with his build, like just an earlier fishing ship with his build, as opposed to El Nino's build, who's going four villages onto this food before chucking his pharaoh over onto wood here, and he gets out a couple more. So this is going to allow Chesso to potentially steal a fish up here. So we'll see if that does become a, a thing that happens. Also, it does mean that El Nino is gonna be able to grab these fishing ships on this side a little bit faster than Chesso is. So he's potentially gonna be able to grab one extra fish on this location. We'll see what happens there though. Not 100% sure. Market coming up now, not market, mining camp coming up now. Again, this swap onto gold that happens here. He just puts so many villages on gold super early. I mean, this is standard. Getting five villages on gold is standard. But um, I guess it does allow this villager to, uh, to 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 build the dock up on this side. But he's gonna get uh, he's gonna get shut down here by this villager here. Um, still no second dock coming up just yet. Chesso does have a hundred gold. Not quite a hundred. Not quite fifty gold here for. For El Nino, so not able to put that dock buck up. Also healing this villager up, super smart. Um, it would definitely be ballsy to get this dock up over here, but I feel like if Chesso, oh, well, he's got the double villages over here, so he's gonna be able to get those up. Uh, but it's gonna be, it's gonna not gonna be as good. This isn't gonna be as clean of an early game from Chesso as last game. But he's gonna have all those docks up, which is gonna be nice. Uh, and, the, and the fishing ships are going to be coming out. And he should actually stop building fishing ships soon. He's only got three more fishing spots over here. Um, he's grabbing fish over here as well. He's got a little bit of fish in the bank here. A lot, not fish, wood in the bank. Could be building fish out of this uh, dock as well. But I feel like he wants to fill up this side a little bit faster. 
a little bit odd. Is there, a, there was not another fish here. So there's only ever nine fish per player on per side. So you get 18 fish total. Got that next villager coming in with that second dock. All the docks coming up now for Chesso. He hasn't built this dock. What's he doing? Oh, he's moving up here. This is super ballsy. I guess he knows that El Nino is not going to be into the uh, into the classical age for quite some time. So he's going to try and get this dock up. And with the villager batching away at it, it's still going to be able to get up. We've got another dock coming up now for Chesso as well. Doing as much of this shenanigans as possible. Getting these walls up in order to... Or not finishing the walls though. That's odd. Definitely need to do that one there, but not happening just yet. Got Tar coming through for El Nino. Ooh, Chessophilus with the late, the late, late classical age. It does look like El Nino cleaned up his early game from last game. And he's going to be advancing 5.45 instead of that six minute plus advance time, which is very, very nice. Love to see it. Uh, and we are seeing House coming up. And this does mean that El Nino can get out an early cabinet. Uh, let's check out what his goal situation is at. Yeah, he's going for that second town center yet again. It looks like... Oh, he's not actually. He hasn't sent over there. What's happening? No armory. No nothing. Cabinets. Cabinets coming out. Uh, per seam coming out. And if we check out... Ooh, what's going on over here? Chesso. Just looks like he's not... I'm not sure what he's going for just yet. He's got a nice even amount of resources here. Definitely this dock is not going to be getting up. And this cabinet is going to be able to be enough to stop that one from going up. This next dock trying to come up as well. Tar comes through for Chesso here. Can start getting out those cabinets if he so wishes. And it does not look like he wishes. This is more get the docks up and be as painful as possible. Are we seeing a fast heroic here? No, no fast heroic, no cabinets. Here are the cabinets coming out. Well, thank you for the host margin. I appreciate that one, my friend. Let me try and move through here. Looks like it's going okay. I got some more houses coming. Looks like Chesso maybe house population blocked. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. No armory just yet. No second town center for either player. Nothing going on, on this bottom of the map. Looks like Chesso just needs to defend, but El Nino is going to be throwing away these cabinets, which I really don't want to be doing here. He's going to be losing t at least two here. Uh, and maybe uh, run, run this guy off here. That feels good. Kill, this, kill all of those cabinets as best as you possibly can. Armory now coming up for El Nino. It does look like he's got the resources to advance here, so he's going to go on there. Monument to the Villagers coming up. Still no armory here for Chesso. However, he's going to be having the food fairly soon. Where's, is there no, did I just miss the armory? Oh, here it is. He's chucking it up over here. This is going to be coming up a little bit late. Monument to the Villagers is going to be a little bit late as well. El Nino moving in. This is actually a really, really good spot for a Migdol right here. That's nice, going to secure this town center, and also potentially a wall over here secures this town center as well. So we'll see if El Nino can uh, identify that and then play for the, the 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 center game, the center town center game, and force Chesso to have to react to that. Um, we are seeing ooh, still no advance here. It's because the armor is not up. So he is going to be quite a bit behind El Nino. So he's got a lot of a lot of time to set up here. A lot of options can potentially push out a lot of seed ships or. I feel like you don't need to here. You just need to grab this center. Looking like he's going for this town center, which is great. I need to grab the town center. I need to put a Migdol Stronghold up here. That's the that's the course of action. Migdol Stronghold, Siege Workshop. That would be very, very good here for El Nino. And it will be very difficult for Chesso to push through that one. And we are seeing that the town center is coming up here for Chesso. Uh, and that's he does not want to take this town center when he has to deal with ancestors. And we are seeing ancestors does come down here. And he's going to be chasing these villages back into the base. But while this does delay this town center and set it up, it does give Chesso an option here to push back with his own ancestors. So El Nino is basically going to have to play a little bit of Ra here, get out a couple of those priests. He does have access to funeral rites, so he should upgrade that funeral rites. And he is going to have to get up that. What's going on here? Does he have... He doesn't have gold for a McDoll Stronghold. The second town center is up. Building a couple of these war barges as well in order to take out this dock. And I feel like this is not what you want to see here. A little bit of lag coming in. It's just El Nino. You know, not, not to me. If it was me, both people would be red. There we go. Jesso now in that, uh, in that heroic age. 
Not seeing the priests out just yet. Still no Migdal stronghold. Just pumping villages. No market up over here, which should be a should be a thing that happens. We're seeing ramming galleys coming out here for Chesso. Does not want to give up this water just yet. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, any more action over here. I think I think Chesso is slightly overcommitting to this water here. Ooh, chucking up the Migdol stronghold here. This is super open. This is really hard Migdol to, to defend against. Uh, and it doesn't really secure anything. It does secure the gold mine, but apart from that, it doesn't secure anything else. Right here. That's where Migdol wants to go. Uh, so this actually gives Chesso quite an option here to fight back. Uh, and we check here, he is going to be going to the Mythic Edge fairly soon. Market is up, and he's just trying to defend over here, trying to get that fish as much as possible. Leviathan's fighting each other, but El Nino is underneath Dockfire, so this one's going to hard win. That fight there, Siege Workshop coming up now, and Chariot Arch is coming through, still no market for El Nino. So it's going to be a, a Heroic Age set against a Mythic Age set, uh, and we're seeing Migdal Stronghold now coming up for Chesso, so he is on a timer at this point. 400 gold plus 2,500, so he's got 3,000 gold left to play with until he needs to push out and grab this gold mine here. This is probably the one you want to go for. However, this town center is super important. And if he does grab this town center, it kind of secures these two gold mines. He can also sneak at this gold mine. It's definitely sneak. It will run up this way, sneak around. You know, that's a possibility. However, it looks like this town center is going to be grabbed. I don't like it when, I don't think it's ever a really good idea to go three town centers when your opponent's still on one town center. Especially at this point in the game when you know that uh, potential Mythic Age is coming through. However, you can chuck it up there as kind of a sacrifice point. So, force a tornado onto this town center means you're sacrificing 500 resources uh, for that town center. But you also get uh, access to more villages, Adelaide town center, so it's kind of an investment as well. So, we'll see if that does happen. We've got the uh, Monument of the Priest coming out, so looking like potentially Avengers, but it's super, a super odd choice when you have ancestors as well. And it's like El Nino should already be uh, preparing for ancestors with funeral rites, priests. No funeral rites just yet, but he should be. He should be having more priests out as well. So, when the Avengers start coming out, it's really not going to be that much of a help. Uh, we're going to see a Tornado on this location. Yes, Tornado on this location. That's going to pick off the Siege Tower. It's going to also pick off this Migdal Stronghold, but it's not going to grab any of these units, which is huge. However, El Nino needs to get his own Migdal back up and functional straight away. And if he can chuck it up here again, get that Siege Workshop up, he should be okay. However, we do have access to a Catapult now. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We've got the Migdal Stronghold coming up in the back over here. No barracks coming up just yet. Fourth town center for El Nino. So he's hard staying in the second, in the third age. Committing completely to the third age here. Uh, and it's just not the best idea simply because you have fish. And it's all this fish means that Chesophilus' economy is gigantic compared to El Nino. So we've got nine fish at the moment where Chesso has filled up this entire shore. So he needs to catch up on the villagers, but he's not up on the tech. Now we've got all these war elephants coming in. We've also got the rhinoceros of Set. Uh, I'd be interested to see if rhinoceros of Set become apparent here, like a really big thing. Doesn't look like Avengers are coming out just yet. Uh, and we are seeing this town center looks like it's going to be on its last legs as it does get taken down. Priests are going to be able to pick off this Avenger here. Still no funeral rites, but that's okay. Uh, a counter to the priest would be Rhinoceros of Set, and it does kind of... Where's the Pharaoh? I can't find the Pharaoh because maybe he's dead. But this could be the play right here. Is Chesso just making Rhinoceros? <laughs> here he is. Here's the Pharaoh. How much do they cost? Six Fable. Oh my god. Whose idea was that? A set's already strong enough. <laughs> Six favor for rhinoceros. And how hard is it to kill these guys? These guys are these guys are beasts for six favor. Um, and they don't I'm mean, priests can't attack them, right? So you don't actually have a counter to them. Mito Stronghold coming up for Chesso. It doesn't actually secure anything except for this town center. And he's gonna be needing this gold mine very, very soon. 500 gold left. And he's spending so much stuff over here. Shifting stands does get cast onto this location. He's gonna be losing a lot of these chariot archers, but the chariot archers could just come sit over here and pick off a bunch of these guys. Do see that the shifting stands comes up. Over here does get, get a couple of these uh these pick-offs here for the goat. 
Let's look like the town for the Mikdal Stronghold. Maybe not going up just yet, but the Rhinoceros are set doing a lot of work here. And we have zero favor here for Chess Off. Let's see building that. Uh, that Avenger as his Pharaoh is dead, so we can't get any more Rhinoceros to set. We've also got the the, uh, the Spearman in here as well, gonna be trying to take some stuff down. Looks like the villagers in here as well, a little bit of a village of Ragnarok. Moving them in, taking down that Migdol Stronghold. And now he's got the villagers coming in here, trying to pick off those Rhinoceros to set. You do need to use these guys in this Rhinoceros to set here, and then that'll be really, really good. But he does need to get gold as well. Still pumping out villages, I assume. Oh, not pumping out villages. Not pumping out trade route. What's happening here with the gold, with the food, sorry. He's got, oh my God, you have 2,500 food and you're not auto queuing villages. This hurts me. This hurts me a lot. Not auto queuing villages, not auto queuing uh, trade here with 2,500 food. It does hurt. All right, watch tower coming out now for Chesso. It's like, We've got a lot of villages over here that this Avenger can really hurt. <laughs> Looks like this Siege Tower trying to come in here. We've got uh, Kalmory and Chariot Archers pumping at this point. And now Chester's on this gold mine. If you could just like send some cam uh, mercenary cavalry over here just to raid, that would be really, really big. I don't feel like uh, El Nino realizes what uh, what point Chesso's at at this point. If he loses these villages, he loses the game. If he loses this area, he loses the game. And it is looking like El Nino is just hard focusing on this town center here. Yeah, you know, seeing the uh, Avenger does look like it's being intercepted here and he's gonna be falling and still no fuel rights, even though you've got 32 favor and 2,800 food you can sell. <laughs> oh, so good, so good. Um, thank you for the follow, Jer Jeremiah. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it, my friend. It's like Jesso continuously fighting on this location as well. I like that he's dictating that this is where the fire needs to be and not over here. But here we go. The mercenary cavalry now coming out. El Nino's got not very much gold, but he has a lot of gold coming in. Or the, the Avenger coming into this line. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage once that special comes out. Yep, that's one down. But it does look like it's not going to be quite enough to do any more damage just yet as the Avenger's going to be coming out of here. We've got the uh, mercenary cavalry moving into this location yet again. Again, still pumping them up might be worthwhile just to sell that food in your bank here and just uh and just spam the mercenary over here in order to to stop that gold income because if you check out chess off list he's got 900 gold in the bank but that goes very very fast if you're not gathering anything which is currently kind of what's happening here as these mercenary cavalry are hitting this location here uh still could be a could be an idea for el nino to build another uh, another Migdal stronghold. Looks like these villagers trying to gather as much gold as they possibly can. Still has like, oh, he's got 63 gold there. It's not very much. Now the camel caravan's coming out. Still no villagers getting built here for El Nino. Super confused about that decision there. Potentially El Nino, well, I guess he's on full population. Maybe he feels like he's got enough villagers, but he's losing so many that it may be worthwhile just to keep building them. Uh, or he could simply sell the food and go, uh, go to the next stage. Looks like these mercenary cavalry are under a little bit of duress just from the laborers fighting back, but they're gonna start picking them off fairly soon. Looks like he's moving in here, trying to take out this location here as the war elephant's moving in. Where is all of, where is all of El Nino's stuff? That's the big question. Does he have any idols anywhere? Got one ramming galley here. Got some ramming galleys over here. Not sure about that when you're trying to trying to secure the map here. Um, but I guess it does sl slow down the uh, the food. Like El Nino needs to grab more gold, grab fortified town centers and produce some more dudes. Maybe he's got too many villages. He's also still pumping out camel caravans as well. Um, but that's fine, you can play for the long game. It's like some of these war elephants they don't work, that's for sure. Oh, looks like this town center is so close to dying here, but the uh, mercenary cavalry and the town center should clean up that Avenger here. But with more siege towers coming in, hopefully El Nino spots this and he moves some villages in over here to pick these guys off. Uh, he is producing more mercenary cavalry here, which is gonna be able to move these guys back. Uh, still need to get that repaired. What's the, uh, no masons, no architects. Needs to grab that one in order to up the, the siege defense here. Crush armor, resistance to siege weapons. Uh, 
still super odd. Uh, maybe like, uh, maybe El Nino can sneak to this town center as well. He's still sitting at like next to no gold though. Rhinoceros of Set coming in now. Got, oh, got all of these Rhinoceros of Set queued up here. Villagers gonna run in here. Gonna be able to clean up this town center finally. Uh, I wonder if he goes for it. I feel like he should go for it and, and the El Nino should just be like, all right, no worries, you can have it and I should take this one. You can see his gold incomes now really skyrocketed. Uh, Chessophilus still doesn't have his own second town center. He's definitely not scouted that one just yet. Uh, but these Rhinoceros of Set are going to do a lot of damage over here. Um, just producing so many, but does manage to pick off the Pharaoh, so that does slow that one down. And now El Nino is over onto this town center. It looks like the Avengers got ideas of taking this out, but there's no way this one doesn't get out with this many villages on it. There isn't any Pharaoh over here to empower it though either. And if we check out the uh, upgrades, we've got no real armor upgrades here for maybe either player. So where's Feral? Why don't you have Feral? Is that a technology that doesn't show up? It's bugged. Feral, if you're gonna make Rhinoceros of Set, you may as well get Feral. That, that technology is really, really good. Here we go. And Chesso is saying GG. Does decide to tap out. GG. Well played. Nice, nice win there for uh, for El Nino managing to grab the town centers and hold on. I feel like this is potentially a too early of a tap out here. I feel like maybe, oh, maybe we could have had. It's got not that much gold left, I suppose. It's very hard. It's very hard to keep attacking here. Um, if Chesso could stabilize and grab this town center and this town center, maybe, but he just couldn't get in there and secure this gold mine. So, GG, well played there by El 